Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Members of the City Council's Public Safety Committee questioned the Bloomington Police Chief last night during another meeting about law enforcement's role in the community. I do not believe that there is a systemic racism in our agency. Members of Black Lives Matter Bloomington say BPD cannot definitively say it's not racist since 87% of the force is white and reports to a white police chief. The city says it will be looking to hire a third party to provide training sometime next month. For the fourth time in six weeks, an inmate has been executed at the federal penitentiary in Terre Haute. Lesmond Mitchell was convicted in 2003 of murdering 63-year-old Alice Slim and her granddaughter, 9-year-old Tiffany Lee. I have waited 19 years to get justice for my daughter, Tiffany. I will never get Tiffany back, but I hope this will bring some closure. Officials with the Navajo tribe, of which Mitchell was a member of, pleaded with President Trump to commute Mitchell's sentence to life in prison. The execution of another condemned inmate, Keith Nelson, is scheduled for Friday, but has been delayed for now by a federal judge. And mediation help is now available to Hoosier landlords and their tenants at risk of eviction, free of charge from the Indiana government. Potential settlement outcomes can include payment plans and back payments, but they can still also involve eviction. Still, Chief Justice Laura Rush says keeping the matter out of court can be beneficial. Having an eviction court filing on your record can make it harder to find housing in the future. Quick check of the forecast tonight, a 30% chance of rain, low of 74. In the five-day forecast tomorrow, showers continue as 60% chance of rain with a high of 87. More news online, WTIUnews.org.